Eagle Song Gardener here, and today we're in the kitchen at Ravencroft. It's the early part of April, and we are making dandelion wine. This is probably the most traditional country wine there is. So it's really simple. I'm going to invite you over to look at the, the different elements that we put in the wine. We have two and a half pounds of organic sugar. And the dandelions that have been plucked off the calyx, so these are really um, ready to go. We picked those this morning. And then we've got Oregon grape blossoms. These add an incredible taste to the wine uh, because the, the dandelion is a little flat in its flavor and the Oregon grape adds a nice punchy um, sour taste to the wine. And we're going to put in pulmonaria flowers today. And that is because all three of these are blooming at the same time. This is the pulmonaria. Lungwort is a common name for this plant. My favorite winemaking book is Home Winemaking Without Failures by H.E. Bravery, still available. And it was put out in 1948, so it's really good old-fashioned winemaking information. Oranges and citrus go in to bring in the, also that um, sour taste into the wine. And then this is what the beautiful wine looks like. And you can see here, this is our special dandelion wine glass, even has a dandelion leaf there. All right, dandelions and all the different plants. Two bags of black tea to add tannins. We're gonna use baking yeast today. And the process is very simple. This is phase one, the first stage of the preparation. We are now putting our two and a half pounds of sugar into three quarts of water. This video is going to happen in two or three parts, so this will be just the first part. So we want to bring this back up to a boil and dissolve all of the sugar. Let this boil for about a minute, and that makes sure that any bacteria, any problem that could happen in the water is taken care of. It's been boiling for the last 15 minutes, so it's definitely um, off-gassed any gas in the water. All right, so now our, our syrup is ready. We're going to take our dandelion flowers and put them in. I always figure about... A gallon of dandelions picked in the field for a gallon of dandelion wine. And I like to make the wine one gallon at a time. This way I can make four, three or four, five different kinds of wine in, in one summer and have plenty of wine, but it's all different flavors. I like that. We're not going to pluck the Oregon grape flowers off. We're just putting them in whole with a few of those stems, remembering wholeness in everything we do. So we'll get them all under water. And then goes in the pulmonaria flowers, tops. And the last thing to go in today will be the citrus. So these slide in. And essentially what we're doing here is we're making a flower punch. And so this punch is going to steep overnight. And then tomorrow morning we're going to do the second step of the winemaking preparation, which is pitching the yeast. So for right now, we're just going to bring this back to the boil. Then we will turn it off. Tomorrow, the, the black tea and, the, tea, and the, um, the yeast will be put into our, our tea here. And then everything is covered for the night with a cotton cloth 
so it can steep and get all the flavors in there. So there we have it. We'll be back with you tomorrow morning to take you to step two in the dandelion wine process at Ravencroft Garden. Come visit us. In fact, you can actually get this recipe at eaglesong-gardener.com and it's in our blog. Enjoy.